Hi, it's Harper. Let's take a look at 16 of the worst engineering fails. One would think that engineers, designers, architects, and anyone similar would need to have their stuff figured out to get jobs doing real work in the real world, right? Well, that's obviously not the case with what you're about to see on this list. Here, you'll find some fails that are so bad that it's incredible that anyone let these people get away with them. From doors that lead to death drops to fans chopping through walls, this is the worst engineering fails. Number 16, the door to who knows where. This one is pretty good because there's no way anyone could reach this door unless they brought their own ladder with them. Who drew up the plans for this building and stuck a door halfway up the wall of this classroom? And who, when they were building, didn't just decide to nix the door and continue the wall in its place? Come on guys and gals, I don't think anybody's coming in that way. Number 15, you could jump. Oh, well, this is nice. For about a millisecond, nothing looks wrong with this. We're used to seeing balconies one after another, all the way up and down buildings, but within the millisecond, you realize there's no way to access this thing unless you want to jump from the upper balcony to the one below and risk a really nasty fall. Then where would you go from there? You can't go back up, you can't go back inside. This thing is really pointless. Number 14. How many does one need? Okay, well, for starters, did you know that manholes are strategically placed at bends in sanitary sewer pipes? How many bends are going on underneath the ground right here? It must be like a network of spiderweb pipes just below the surface of this parking lot. We counted eight, so maybe it's more like the legs of the spider itself. Who knows? All we know is that this thing doesn't look right and it's probably not. They better hire a better engineer next time. Number 13, wall seats. When you go to a baseball game, you try and buy tickets to get the best view you can and sometimes to position yourself in home run territory so you have a chance at going home with the game ball. Here is home run territory, but there's no view at all. And we doubt that this was how it's supposed to be. Why not just knock down the part of the wall or take out the seats? Save yourself the embarrassment of people seeing how big of a fail this is at every game. Number 12, hope you've got long arms. Let's just hope that everybody that ever uses this restroom has to go number one and is a man. Why would they just put the toilet paper roll so far away from the toilet? This was obviously an accident in the planning and design stages, but why wouldn't they just change it when they began building this bathroom? It looks as though it's a handicapped stall too, which is even worse. Is this against the law? Because this is most definitely criminal. Number 11. Something's just not right here. At least they got something right. There is a telephone located somewhere on the telephone booth, but maybe they just don't understand the point of a telephone booth. It is the 2000s. Where even has these outdated booths anymore when everyone carries a cell phone? Still, it's pretty funny that they put this on the outside. Maybe you can make a loud, totally unprivate call and they'll go take a nap or zen out inside the quiet private booth. Sounds good to us. Number 10, it's your choice. So when it's time to call it a night, you've got two options by which you can leave this building, the regular stairs or the big boy stairs. But why would you want to take 10 little steps when you can just take two giant ones? Number nine, special treatment. Why is the whole side of this building smooth and all the same except for that one little window about right in the middle? Whose apartment is that? Who is so special that they get the only window on the entire side of the building? Or what is in there that is deserving of this window? Maybe it's just a bunch of plants that need sunlight. Perhaps it was just a design fail. It is kind of odd that there are all these windows on the side of the building, but only one on that whole side. Number eight. Oh yeah, good idea. Do you think the friend on the right side is the one who just follows along with his other buddy's ideas and doesn't even realize that he's the dumb one? The guy most definitely isn't an engineer, nor are his buddies for that matter, but they do know how to problem solve, although dangerously. What happens if one of them slips, or worse, bees? We don't know, but this is why women live longer than men. Seriously, could you ever imagine a group of girls doing this? Didn't think so. Number seven, what? What in the world are we supposed to do with this? Did this builder just not give a darn here? He or she couldn't have really thought that this was an okay way to leave a bathroom, right? We get it now. This bathroom wasn't designed for any ordinary person, was it? This must be in the bathroom down the hall from Willy Wonka's office in the chocolate factory. I figured it out, my mistake, carry on. Number six, oops, ladies and gentlemen, this is your conductor speaking. It seems as though they put a giant pole and an electrical box in the direct center of the track, so we're going to be delayed quite a while. On second thought, your train is never going to go. Well, anywhere, because some doofus engineer didn't thoroughly plan out what he was doing. Sorry for the inconvenience. 
Number five, left, right, left. Here's someone that doesn't look like they were too bad at their job. The curb looks fine and it's not like this road leads to nowhere, that I can see at least. But they for some reason never apparently learned their left from their right. And as someone working on constructing our roads, that's a bit scary. If they don't know something that simple, imagine what else they don't know. And these people drive on the road with us. Number four, a faulty fan. Apparently, whoever put this fan in didn't have any cares to give and decided that in time the thing might work properly. It only took a few inches out of each wall to get it to that point, but hey, they weren't wrong. Obviously, this fan has been here a while, and whoever owns the space just decided to let things run its course, then tried to reinstall it properly, and that makes this fail pretty great. It pushed and pushed and finally chopped its way to victory. Number three, super screwy stairway. This staircase looks like something out of a Dr. Seuss book. Who could possibly think that this is okay to leave in somebody's home? What kind of home builder is this? Not only are the stairs super awkward, but the handrail is legitimately one of the craziest I've ever seen. Hopefully the buyer of this place got a bit of a discount for this strange looking, odd angled thing. Imagine having to explain this every time somebody comes over to visit. Ugh. Number two, quite the wheelchair ramp. We get that the person who decided to put this ramp in probably mismeasured, thus getting the angle needed to complete the ramp correctly wrong. But why didn't they choose to fix it? Why, when they realized that the ramp couldn't be finished without putting a few stairs on the end, did they not decide just to start over so that they could use this thing for the purpose in which they were trying to build it in the first place? The handicap can just figure out a way to jump a few stairs at the end of the ramp, right? Uh, I don't see anything going wrong with this plan. All right, we've come to the final fail, and I've got to tell you, it's a little more than awkward. But before we get into it, what's been your favorite fail so far? Have you seen anything in your life that could qualify as a terrible engineering fail? I'd love to hear in the comments below, and I'm sure everyone else would too. Number one, awkward butt touches. This is for all the guys out there, but I'm sure everyone can understand the weirdness of the situation. Gentlemen, what would you do if you walked into a bathroom and these were the only two urinals left, unoccupied? Would you take one? What would you do if another guy came up and took the other? Who designs bathrooms like this? Do they have no bubble or not know about personal space? These must be the best friends forever toilets. That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I know the next time that I go out and about, I'll be keeping an eye out for some weird engineering fails because it seems like they're more common than I thought. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And again, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.